First though, all right, so we, we're, we're day one, we're going to install, all right, middle field close. We're going to play with a close player, we're going to have an eight-man box, all right, we're going to stop the run first. But now as soon as you do that, as far as going into the se cover seven world, and you take one of those run defenders out of the box and you put them on the hash, obviously you're down, right, you're down a man, all right, you're down a man. So what we do run fit wise is we stunt the front. Anytime we're in a too high set, we have the ability to stunt the front, all right, and push the run gaps out to the defender who's left the box now. All right, so you guys will see it here. We call it Jimmy and Pony. And I hope, uh, can you guys, is anybody having a difficult time seeing the, the, the pictures right now? Uh, are we? Okay, all right. So now, we call it Jimmy and Pony. So now Jimmy now, all right, Jimmy is going to talk about our shade five side. So as you've seen from the big picture right here now, we're saying he's out of the box, he's out of the box, all right? So we do not want to get him involved. The corner is involved now, basically what we're playing backside. So we want to push it so we're not going to ask that star, our nickel, to get involved in the box. Right? He's going to be a pass first player. So in order to do that, we have to stunt the front. All right? So you see, sometimes right, we'll have that guy have this B gap, but obviously he's too far to have that B gap. So now basically what Jimmy is is this. These guys right, is not a now stunt. They're basically going two gap. And in this picture right here with the uh, five technique that Jimmy to the shade five side, he is going to play the inside half block of the tackle, any aggressive block that he, plays, uh, he, he faces. Now, we do not want to go now, all right? And the whole thing of that is you hear us say all the time, we don't want that pool ball rolling off the table quick, all right, and giving us a decision to make it now. We want to be able to slow it down a little bit and give our team, excuse me, the defense, enough time to recover to it. So you'll see it up here, all right? He's two gapping it, all right? Ball goes outside. He peeks his head in his gap. It's outside. He gets off the block. He makes the play. And now, look. And I was in you guys' seat before too now, right? Alabama, we got all world, you know, monsters playing and stuff or whatnot, right? But as you see it too, he's going against, quote unquote, an all world guy too, right? So I think it's all relative to what we're doing in this room, all right? So I was with that guy too saying, man, you could do whatever you want when you're at Alabama. You got the players. Well, bull crap. They got players that you face too now that are get pretty good too now, okay? So you see here again, all right, with this kid here, right? Same thing. He's playing the inside half of the block. Right? And now, as you see, he basically spills the ball outside to that apex defender. Right? So this is basically different ways we're playing our run gaps. Okay? Canceling gaps. You'll see it from the end zone copy here. All right, 47. He's playing the inside half of the block. He's peeking inside. It goes inside. It goes inside. And now, obviously, this guy doesn't have to fall back in that B gap here. He can relate to his coverage first now. Okay? You see a couple more examples of it now. All right? So now, what this turns into now, we say, we talked about Jimmy, that shade five side, now we're talking about pony. Ponies to the three five side. So now instead of just the five technique two gapping now, now it's going to be the three and the five two gapping now, all right? And as you guys see it here. So they're two gapping here, all right? And now that's the whole key here, is making it muddy for that ball carrier and allowing these guys to run it down. So as you guys see it. So they're not necessarily always going to make the play, but obviously they can bounce it and we don't want that pull ball rolling fast off the table. Right? And normally, like I said, we don't always uh, run the games when we're in a too high situation, depending on what we call, what we tag to it. But just like you guys probably know already, we want it to be away from the bat for the most part. So as you guys see it here again, right, your Jimmy and Ponies, it's probably better from the end zone copy here. All right, you got your 3-5 side away from the back. These two guys, this guy's a smaller guy, Tim Williams, right? But same thing, they're playing the inside half of the block. It commits in there, we go. So a lot of times you think about two gap, and a lot of guys think two gaps is head up. Well, we play it from a shade, all right? We play it from a shade, okay? And then you'll see it up here again, these pieces here with the pony. All right, two gapping, as you guys see it. All right, so pretty good job by him. It didn't even